Hi. Hi, Nangeso. How are you? Good, and you? Yeah, I'm good. So we are talking about uh, what you ate uh, today after long run. Yeah, today after long run, I <coughs> because I'm really tired, I want to cook. <coughs> but uh, you know, it's a long run, like 36 kilometers, so I can't cook, so I have to go to, I decided to go to hotel. I have a chai chapo. Then I'm good now, I'm relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. So you pay 20 shillings per one chap yeah. chapati? We have with my friend. Yeah. We uh, have one chapati, 20 shillings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have like three, three, three chapo, three each. Yeah. Uh, one chai. <laughs> one chai. chai. Which is? 20. 120. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you uh, drink uh, chai with milk? Yeah, chai with milk and sugar. Yeah. And sugar. Because it's mm -hmm. carbohydrates, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because we are from long run, it's good for recovery. So three chapatis and one chai. One chai, yeah. And this is enough for you? That's enough, <laughs> yeah. Now we are relaxing for yeah. suppers, for the evening dinner. Yeah, we and are relaxed, drinking water, yeah. Will you cook dinner here or? Yeah, I can cook. Uh, I used to cook rice. Rice, okay. Uh, we used to cook uh, rice and uh, sometimes ogali. Mm -hmm. I have a maize here. I have to take to... This is my gas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pro gas, you know. I have to... I refill almost... It takes like three months because sometimes I go to hotel and when I'm tired. Mm -hmm. But most of the time I cook here, so... So rice, ugali. Rice, ugali, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Then the rest we use from the hotel, which is chapati. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes a donut <laughs> and toast. Yeah. And do you eat uh, vegetables? Yeah. Yeah. I I used to eat vegetables like potatoes. Mm hmm uh, mostly, you know, not a sweet potato. I used to cook with uh, some uh, another another thing. Then I used to eat with chapo sometimes. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I like them. You know. Mhm. Mm yeah. So, how many chickens do you have? I have twelve chicken, but uh, twelve. Twelve, yeah. Uh huh. Almost eight, eight cocks and like four, four hens. Mm -hmm. uh, so after training, I have to take care of them because I love them. Yeah. Uh, so you I feed. I have to struggle as I'm training. I have to look for another chances. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm take care of them. So for you, this is business. Yeah, it is another business because even in my home. Uh, in my home back, you know, I like chicken. I have a lot of chicken. Yeah, I used to sell them to buy my exercise book, my uniform. Yeah, so it really helps me because I love them. Yeah, if you see even uh, the government of this country, Kenya, uh, he's really he has a lot of hands. You know, he earn a lot of money. You know, so <laughs> in the future, even I want to invest on the hands. Uh -huh. I want to have a uh, big farm big farm for them yeah, mm -hmm. so that i can invest and i can sell yeah and I how can create a job yeah for the rest of the the people yeah yeah not only running you know i don't want to only run so you have dream about big business <laughs> yeah yeah you know as i'm running uh, aside i have to create another business and also create another job for the rest of the, the guys Okay. That's my dream in the future. And how long do you live in uh, Kenya? Yeah, I came to Kenya 2013, 13? which is now 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, I stay in a Kakuma refugee camp, which is like uh, one day traveling from uh, Iten, where I am now. Uh, but I, it's very hot. I stay there six years, then I work with the different organizations like integrator, community mobilizers. So it's very hot, then I start running in, in Kakuma. Then uh, some of the people advise me to come to Iten because Iten is home of champion, where you can train very well and where you can, uh, you, you can focus on your training, no challenges, because it's a cold, it's green, you can get a food, 
but Kakuma is very hot. Then after Kakuma, now almost um, two years here, I'm living here. This is where I'm living. Yeah, almost I'm here two, two years. Uh, because, you know, this family, is, they are like my family. So I, I never even moved to another places. I stay here in Iken. Uh, and doing my training and working with a lot of people around the world. I was working as pacemakers mm -hmm. to pay my rent and to have my chicken. So I save a little money, then I buy my chicken and also pay my rent for my food, everything, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And you were born in Ethiopia? Yeah, I was born in Ethiopia, uh, Oromia region, one of the biggest regions. Uh, one of our form of champion, like Iten in Kenya. Uh, so, because of the war, and I decided to flee from Ethiopia, then stay in Kenya, work with Kenyans until I learn Kiswahili, English from them. So, this is like my home. Now, mm. Kenya has become my home almost 10 years. And you worked as a teacher? Is yeah. that true? Yeah, I work as a teacher oh. in, uh, in high school, in Kakuma oh. refugee camp, and again as an interpreter, and then in a shelter department uh, for refugees for example when you when you come to kenya to be refugee we have to give you shelter clothes water so i'm i want to i have to do assessment to help uh, my fellow refugees from east africa great not only ethiopia great yeah and um Right now we are in Eton and your accommodation is a room, right? Yeah, yeah, With yeah. a it's bed. A, you know, as you see, I'm living a simple life. Yeah, yeah very it's simple. It's not expensive. You know, I pay like 3,000 Kenyan shillings. So I have to work as pacemaker. Then I save. Then I pay my rent. And the rest uh, for my food and for my chicken. Uh, that is it. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, you all are sharing the same toilet. No, no, we have, we have yeah, we have uh, three toilets and oh, one bathroom. But it is somewhere outside, right? Yeah, it is this direction. Mm -hmm. So it is good, not bad. Yeah, it's a very simple life and no disturbance. That's why I stay here two years. And you have electricity. Yeah, I have electricity, but mm -hmm. sometimes it is gone, sometimes comes, but. It's Which is typical here in Eton, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, we all are experiencing the yeah. same. If it is this, uh, uh, not there, I use have a power bank. Mm -hmm. I, one of my friends gave me uh, when I was working with him as pacemaker. Then I have to charge it, put food. When the light is off, I use my power bank. Oh. So that's uh, <laughs> another way of life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And actually, it's here is very, very nice. Yeah. It's quiet. Yeah, you have good so neighbors. Quiet, <laughs> so quiet. Yeah. I'm only an athlete here. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest, are, they have a family. They have a husband. So no disturbance. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm just uh, after training, I came to my room. I relax. Then uh, after I relax, I have to go for my easy jogging. Nobody disturbed because I'm only an athlete living in this room. Okay. The rest, are, they are families. Yeah. Yeah. They are good neighbors for me. And uh, now you are able to travel. Tell us something about that. Yeah, you know, uh, it's really amazing because it's a long time. You know, I was really stressing because I train almost um, like now four years in Kenya. I My dream was uh, I have to go outside and uh, compete with the rest of an athlete, but I, I don't have a document because I'm one of a refugee. Uh, I apply that document to 20... 21 in February, but they delay me to give me that document because uh, then I, I, I just follow up and I talk to them. I travel so many times to Nairobi to their office to complain my document so that I can move out of Kenya for my rest. Then uh, uh, amazing recently in this November, I think November day three, they give me my passport. I'm really happy now. Um, uh, I can travel out of Kenya now maybe for pacing or for running for myself. Now I'm really happy. Do you have anything already planned? Sorry? For, do you have anything already planned to go somewhere? No, but yeah, I'm still... You are just waiting for opportunities? Yeah, I'm just uh, waiting for opportunity to run good. And mm -hmm. I'm a one of the refugees, so I have to run good and I have to show to the world. Uh, it is possible if you work hard and you have a confidence. 
nobody support me because I'm the one who support myself. Pacing and training is difficult. Mm -hmm. two, two difficult things, okay? I'm not focusing on only on my training. Sometimes I have so many colleagues, uh, those who I can pass. Mm -hmm. So I have to work with them. After they left, I have to train for myself. So, but I can make it. So you are willing to pace someone? Yeah, even uh, on the outside race. internationally, mm -hmm. I'm willing to pass. No. Anybody who is willing to work with me, you know. Uh, I work with a lot of uh, runners around the world here in Iten, so I want to work with them too on the world, you know, international level. Yeah, yeah. I hope we will see you in Europe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Soon, soon. Yeah. yeah. God willing. Yeah. Yeah. Hottest place? I think I don't know if 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 Bombasa is the, the mm. second hottest. Uh, uh, Mombasa is second hottest. Yeah. yeah. But mm -hmm. that one is really hot. forty degree hot. Yeah. But uh, I have experience in that place, so when I came here, it become easy for me. Because this one is cold, you know. And yeah. uh, what about the Kenyan education system? So one teacher is actually uh, doing multiple subjects, right? Yeah, multiple subjects. Yeah, because you know. You don't have like a teacher per subject. No, they no? don't. Have. Because you know, is it because of maybe the payment? You know, mm -hmm. uh, if you are specifically maybe trained for Kiswahili, mm -hmm. uh, you are expert. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, so they don't want that like that, you know. They like one teacher can teach three subjects, you know. For example, me, I can teach two subjects, three subjects, okay. Mm -hmm. That's because of payment. You will be paid a lot of money. That's why they don't want quality, you know. But oh. it's just quantity, you see. Yeah, quantity. Yeah. Okay. So. Because this is uh, quite different from our education system because we always have one teacher per subject. That's really amazing. That's quality. But uh, this one is quantity, yeah. you know. It's so different because um, it's not possible example, that one I teacher uh, me, will for example, teach you when language. I and when I graduate, I graduate in two subjects: oh. uh, English and uh, geography. So oh, geography. I have to teach oh. two two subjects. You know, mm -hmm. uh, even plus I can maybe teach three subjects if there is no another teacher. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, that's really lot for one teacher. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. That the same happens in Kenya, in Ethiopia, all ev all even in Africa is uh, just quantity, but uh, no quality of just like your country they train one, one, s one subject. You one have teacher. like primary school. Yeah, we have primary school, high school. Uh, and, and how long is primary school? Uh, for example, in, in our country, up to class eight, primary. Eight. Class yeah, eight. Yeah. Okay. Then after class eight, high school. Right. Okay. Then uh, then. Uh, Preparatory that is form four, mm -hmm. form four. Then university. And then university. Yeah. This is quite similar. Actually. Similar, yeah, 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 the yeah, same, similar. the same, yeah. Yeah. the same channel, but uh, the quality is different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. For us, for African, it is just quantity, but they don't focus on quality. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to pay. You know, if it is per subject, you have to pay each teachers their money. You know, but. Two te uh, one teacher is handle three subjects, so they pay him. It is just like one subject is. <laughs> yeah. And is it possible to get like scor scholarship for university or like yeah, free they university they or no. you need to pay? I don't know. In, in Kenya, I think they get a scholarship even here in mm -hmm. Kenya. But in, uh, in our country, uh, depending on your experience, for example, when you graduate in diploma, mm -hmm. then you, t you teach some, t some years, like three, four years. Then you are given uh, like promotion. You have to go to go back to university and uh, study for degree. Mm -hmm. Just is a distance, maybe summary times. Mm -hmm. Not uh, you have to teach uh, the time of teaching, but uh, during your summary, you are busy. You are in the university, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they send you back to university. Yeah. And university is three, four, five years. How for, for Ethiopia, three. But in Ethiopia, uh, Kenya okay. is a school fees. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a, like a school fees up to university is a fees. But in Ethiopia is a free, but uh, they, w they will remove some amount when you are graduating and you get a job, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, from primary up to university is a free in, in our country. And do you have like uh, some bachelor degrees, master degree or something? Yeah, we have. Mm -hmm. We have everything. Uh, even, even in my mother tongue, you can't even take masters. Mm -hmm. Even in my mother tongue, okay? Yeah. yeah. So we have. Yeah. Great. So it's very similar to our yeah. education system. Yeah, in the future maybe, you know, I uh, I already graduated in diploma teaching. 
but I want to learn maybe in uh, international relationship because I'm really Oh, yeah. Like talking yeah, to people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can convince people and talk to people. Some management, management. Yeah, yeah. especially yeah. international relation. I really like uh-huh. it. Talking to people, I'm mm-hmm. really good in that. But uh, I never find it myself when I'm in the school. But mm-hmm. when I came to Kenya, I met a lot of people, even in Africa, all East African, mm-hmm. in, in, in a Kakuma refugee camp. So that makes me to interact to live with the people, different people. Then again, when I come to Iten, Iten is like a wife for me, you know? Mm-hmm. He's a wife. Uh, just I meet different faces from different world, you know? So many athletes come here to train, so I interact with so many people. So many people. That yeah. made uh, Iten give me opportunity. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine you are welcome to many countries, especially yeah. Croatia. <laughs> yeah. going to Croatia. <laughs> I think I think Croatia is not you. exist because 1951 convention. You, know? <laughs> you see, I think yeah. Yeah. Croatia is not on your list. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because of that. But I can travel. I think. Yeah, you you can. You yeah, can. because it's a part of European Union. Yeah, I can travel. Yes. But at that time, I think uh, you guys are on fighting. No independent. Yeah, um, independent is 90. One. Yeah, that's why, you know. Yeah. It's a long time, yeah. Yeah, uh, this is the reason. But I can travel. I, I have to visit, you know. Um, where my colleagues, where my friends, I have to go and yeah. see at least. Yeah. yeah, I need to explain you something about European uh, Union. Yeah. Uh, so even European Union is like one big union of yeah. many countries. Yeah. There is something that is called Schengen. Schengen is uh, a... Uh, yeah, and yeah. right now we are uh, outside of Schengen, but okay. from New Year we yeah. will be part of Schengen. So if you are able to enter to any country like Germany, France, yeah, you are good. actually planning to travel to Croatia because it will be part of the Schengen. Yeah, and exactly. that means there are no borders, yeah, no border exactly. control. Exactly. So you, yeah. you are able to... Yeah, I'm really here. happy to get this document because I'm really dreaming of moving to different country and uh, get a different experience as you see in Italy. But I you met a lot of people and... But you want yeah. to move in Canada? Or yeah, yeah, in yeah. Canada because yeah, but there is your brother. Yeah, but I don't want to stay there, but I have to come back to Kenya with this document, then I have to train, go for races in Europe, different places. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my target. I have to talk to them. Yeah. yeah, when I go to Canada, also I have to explain myself what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So then I think they will encourage me because I want to represent them in the future. That's my dream. But uh, your dream is not to move somewhere like permanently move yeah to that is permanent uh, you want to move permanent permanent yeah, yeah. yeah. permanent and what country yeah. you would choose no permanent for example even this canadian i'm going for permanent mm-hmm. resident mm-hmm. in canada but uh, i don't want to stay there uh, like just walking or what but i have to request them if they can allow me i have to come back and train like another athlete and mm-hmm. i have to go for the international races mm-hmm. that's my dream mm-hmm. yeah like olympic yeah that's my dream yeah. yeah i have to run the biggest marathon of the world that's my dream yeah. <laughs> I have to all of them all of them, all of them. yeah i have to <laughs> yeah yeah okay. this yeah. would be very nice to see you yeah so those big I marathons have to run, yeah. Yeah, the, the, those six six big marathons, six bra- major big marathons. Yes. Yeah, I want to run those. But now they are in procedure to add uh, three more uh, marathons. Okay. But from twenty twenty five. Like what? Yeah, uh, Sydney, what? Australia. I think Cape Town, uh, South Africa, Cape Town. and South Africa. Uh, and China. Okay. I'm not sure about. Uh, Let them add. Be, I love <laughs> marathon. Like I love running. <laughs> yeah, but they will see whether they will allow them but there is there are all those marathons are right now in the procedure yeah so they are they apply to be a major major uh, marathon marathons yeah. 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 yeah yeah i have to run i love it <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah from now if you want to maybe you want me to pass for you guys maybe in valencia berlin chicago I'm oh, ready. Chicago. But from six of major marathons, what would be your first choice? I think Berlin okay. and London. Mm. Yeah, I love those ones. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I have to train very hard and I have to run the best time in yeah. those major. Yeah. yeah.
But you never did the marathon. Yeah, not never. yet. Not yet. Mm-hmm. I did the half twice in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Ten, ten, ten k once, and uh, fifteen kilometer here once. That's it. So you don't have a lot of races. Yeah, I don't have because of this document. Amazing promo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I'm very happy. You know, so many guys even talk to me. They want to take me outside of Kenya for race for pacing. Mm-hmm. So even Mandana, she's willing to pay you. Yeah, travel. and mm-hmm. to travel with her. So my mm-hmm. document, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> so I'm very happy. She's very happy too. You know. Yeah. I share with her. She's very happy. Uh, who is this lady? She's Mandana, very good. Mandana, you know her from uh, Lorna's place. Uh, she's the, the girl, this smart girl. Uh, uh, yes, you know her. Mother yeah. of Russia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah. Is she preparing for something? I don't know, but she will. She will take us to me when uh, if she wants some races. But if for Berlin, she wants to come. She's invited. But if she get corona. She's very weak. Again, mm-hmm. there is a lot of challenge in Iran. Yes. About demonstration, about the right of the women, no right. And uh, then uh, she decide to just stay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't know what the next stress is. Maybe she can tell me. Yeah. She told me I saw you in. Uh, in your Instagram, mm-hmm. yeah, then I said I'm working with her. <laughs> <laughs> she takes me on WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she told me I see you with the crucial lady on on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yes, I said yeah. yeah. They are my family. They are back. They are here. I'm working. <laughs> yeah. See. That is it. So if you will need pacer, we know where yeah. to find you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On race, pacer on race. Yeah. 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 I'm ready after this now uh, to race anywhere mm-hmm. where I want to. Okay? Uh, pacing or running, I'm ready now. I have to work hard. Yeah. The timing. It's amazing. I never believe, you know. I never believe they can give me, but they give me. Imagine. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. So you have like real document in your yeah, hands? Yeah. 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 It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Do you feel tired after long run? No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 no.